Yo, yo, check, mic check. What's up guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top five favorite hair products that I just cannot live without right now. So let's jump on into it. For the first product, this is a shampoo and conditioner from Sol Toscana. It is an organic shampoo and conditioner made from a farm in Italy. And the owner reached out to me and asked me to try it. And since I tried it, I've been absolutely obsessed with it. It includes cypress, lemon, and mint essential oils. And this product smells like essential oils when you put it in your hair. The only thing is that I find with this product that's unlike any other natural um, hair products is it doesn't weigh your hair down like a lot of those seem to. Most um, organic hair products that I try just don't really add life to my hair, but I find that with these products, they still add life to my hair and it makes it still look pretty freaking good. It smells amazing, it's super shiny. So thank you to New so much for reaching out. I'm absolutely loving these products. And I will also make sure to link the website to these down below so that you can purchase these for yourself. For the second product that I just cannot live without, and I'm going kind of in order from like shower to the end of my hair routine, is this little pin. And this is a Kerasos pin. It is the Okay, don't laugh at my Frenchness. Uh, touche chromatique. <laughs> but this pin is absolutely amazing. They came out with these maybe like a year or two ago, and they actually have them for pretty much every different hair color. So you want to buy it depending on your hair color. It's pretty much like a at home in the shower toner, and I have talked about this in a video before, but I just wanted to talk about it again because I'm still using it, I'm still loving it. So I have the cool blonde and it basically just brightens up the brassy tones that I get from my highlights over time. All you have to do is take a small amount of a mask or even just conditioner and pump like 10 little pumps of this into it, mix it up, put it on your hair for five, 10 minutes, rinse it out and you're toned at home. It's fantastic. So third in my hair care routine when I get out of the shower and I towel dry my hair, I have to put this other Carousel's product on. It is the Serum Therapiste. This serum is used for extremely damaged lengths and ends. I find that I get a lot of split ends, but this really helps seal them up. Basically, it's a pump and it has two separate little sides on it. One comes out like a cream, the other side comes out as an oil. You mix that into the palm of your hand, run it through, get a little bit right here and those like hot spots that seem to break easily, and then you can blow dry your hair. So it's a heat protectant and it nourishes your hair throughout the day. The fourth product that I don't think anyone can live without and I definitely can't live without is a really good dry shampoo. And it's really hard to find a good dry shampoo that actually does the job and doesn't leave your hair just looking disgusting. The one that I love is actually the Aveda Shampure. Shampoo, I'm not really sure. This is a dry shampoo. It doesn't have a smell. It smells like baby powder and it comes out kind of like baby powder too. You kind of twist it and I'll shake it back like this and then forward. And then you squeeze the bottle like this and it kind of poofs out and I'll, I'll do it kind of like this and then scrunch it all up in there. I like dry shampoos that don't come out like an aerosol but come out like a powder. You do have to be careful with these products if you have darker hair. I feel like these are more for blondes just because sometimes you can see the powder. But I also really like it because you can put it on like at night and kind of like sleep with your hair like that. And you, when you wake up in the morning and you're getting ready and your hair doesn't look too powdery or like you could use too much dry shampoo, it just looks clean. Lastly, the fifth product, well, I really flew through these. It's going to be a short video. <laughs> the fifth product that I absolutely love and can't live without is the finishing product that I use after I'm done curling my hair. And that is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. A really good comparable one is the Apre beach spray from Orbe. They're kind of similar. I don't know why, I just tend to go towards the texturizing one. You just kind of, you want to do it in little spritz like that. I can put it, so it put it in again. So you can kind of see how that changes. You can kind of see how that changes the way that my curls looked. It makes it look a little bit more textury. PC, beachier, and it says that it's a good alternative to dry shampoo, but like I said before, it's like an aerosol, so I still like to have a good 
powder dry shampoo on hand as well. But this is my all-time favorite styling product. And that is it for my all-time favorite hair products currently that I currently cannot live without. I'll figure out how to word that sooner or later. I will make sure to drop the names of the products down below so you can purchase them yourself and I'll link the website for the Sol Toscana shampoo and conditioner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below and I will see you guys for a future video. Peace.